Hello everybody, Cody here, Boss Poses, and today I'm just going to show you guys how to animate with my new add-on uh, Pose Warehouse, and I'm going to show you that, because I did wait a couple weeks to do this just to show you that the animations do stay there forever, so I got my Master Chief here, and I'm just going to go over into my uh, Pose Warehouse uh, library, and as you see, I spent a day, a few days ago, uh, just making a bunch of uh, poses for my characters, so if I go in... I select my armature, you do have to be in pose mode, and then if I go like say arm side, you see I got all my poses, I even got like on back, if you're like fall, like you know, on the ground or whatever. I got walk cycle, so I could do the whole walk cycle just by loading in the poses like so, and I'm going to show you how to animate these. Because all you pretty much do is highlight the bones and just add a keyframe for it and you are on your way already, right? So we'll go to idle position first and we'll just start here. So I'm just going to turn on my auto keyframe. I'm going to press A to select all my bones, which they should be already. I'm going to press I and I'm going to click uh, location, rotation, scale, and custom properties. Okay, and you're going to notice that down here on the bottom we do have this. We don't need to see any of this crap right here. Yours, your timeline probably won't look like this. It'll probably look like that, so we'll just work like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just push forward into my timeline a little bit. So I'm going to go about five frames, and I'm going to go to the next one. Maybe even skip one of my animation clips and go just straight to the gun pointing, right? I'm going to press I, same thing again. It should just be already selected when you do it. And now when I scroll back, you'll notice that he goes right into his animation. That actually looks really damn good already, right? So, And another thing you can do is click I uh, here and then go to frame dropping, just in case you're getting a little bit of lag on your playback. Or you can turn off your shaded mode until you're ready to play it. You could even make that a little bit faster. So the beautiful thing about this add-on and having already pre-made poses uh, that you already did is you just grab that little bit of a clip. See how there's not like a thousand frames of my animation here? That's amazing. There's just two little clips here that you move, right? See, and then we can make it faster. And there's a lot of data going on in between these two frames, which is amazing. So I'm just going to go up a little bit further. Maybe even uh, do a, a point 0.4, and then we're going to go to aim crouch, but like on the ground like this. Again, we're going to press I, all, all poses, and then we're just going to scroll up. And as you see, it goes right into the aiming point, and then down into a crouch. And that looks really good, right? So I could use this in my animation right now. So that's perfect. And then you can just go in and then tweak whatever you need to do. So the next thing I can do is go into my next, my reload, and if I wanted to add anything in between, I could do that. So the reload would be like that, and I could make his clip drop out, like as of right here, if I really wanted to. I could even go back into my walk. So what I want to do is uh, push this up. So I'm just going to copy this frame here. I'll paste that there. That way it gives it a little bit of a delay before it moves into the next animation. And then I'm going to go back up into my uh, aim, my uh, original aim, like that. And then I'm going to go back into my idle just to show you that we do have a really good sequence already. So he should just go into aim to crouch to back to standing again. As you see. And you could play around with this as much as you want, right? So you could store as many animation clips as you could possibly imagine. And you could open an entirely new project, a completely different movie, and all of your poses will be right there. I do recommend uh, putting the character's name next to them. Sometimes it imports with other characters, uh, and there's some certain characters that it doesn't. I find it does on XPS format characters that it will import like all of the animations even for like master chief and stuff like that but if you have a generic like xps rig most of those animations will still work too right so uh even if i go back into my rendered mode or if i go into my like my full shaded mode right like you could go into cycles from here and you could completely render this so you have an animation already and as you see you can make chief crouch and go back up right so like that's how uh you would do that so you could do this with anything right and then you could even go in and even edit these if you really wanted to so if i went like uh here and then i went over into my tools and then i moved my arm as you see i can uh you know just kind of edit that and if i have my auto keyframe on it's going to add that into my animation right so like if i had uh something i wanted to tweak right here like the head we could even make that head kind of like animate you know so we're just gonna bring it up like that turn our audio keyframe back on that little blue button right there and then move it and as you see now his head 
kind of has like a little motion to it when he goes down. So now it's all about tweaking your animation, right? So like when you go all the way up and then you put that down, if you don't want the arm to like swing down so far to the left, you could just go into the center of these frames here. And then what you could do is just kind of equal that out a bit, right? And that's pretty much how you would go about using this uh, add-on. It's very basic. All you do is pose, and if you wanted to save a new one, you just highlight all the bones and hit save, name it, done. And then it's there forever, right? So I hope you all like today's video. This add-on is available on Blender Market right now. I'll post that in the link uh, into the description of the video and a couple other ones to a bunch of my other add-ons that are very useful. And these are all published on Blender Market. They're all very well reviewed, so I hope you find uh, this useful because this is 10 times better than Blender's default Pose library. So Pose Warehouse is pretty much the thing that you should be using next because I've, I, I'm an animator and I find this is like my next tool that I use. I use this and Fixamo and I've developed those specifically to make my life easier and they ended up helping up so many other people, right? So you can check that out at Boss Poses. I have plenty of tutorials on YouTube you can check out. So go find that out. Um, again, I'll post that into the uh, description of the video and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you. Take care.